So the rich know how to use debt to get rich. And that's what I do. I use debt to invest. I don't recommend it, but it's the best way to get rich. There's three types of income. The okay, number one type of income is when you work for money. It's earned. The second type of income is portfolio income. But the income that the rich work for is called passive income. Hi, welcome to Lozone Channel. We talk about ways to stay motivated and inspired with our daily videos. Click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell for more updates. I use debt to invest, but to be able to do that, to go to here, to get rich. To do that, you've really got to have a lot of financial education. I don't recommend it, but it's the best way to get rich. Be very careful right now because I use debt. The more debt we use, the less tax we pay. That is why I love real estate. I can use debt and pay no taxes, make a lot of money. In 1971, when Nixon took the dollar off the gold standard, money became debt. So the rich know how to use debt to get rich. And that's what I do. And other guys will tell you, get out of debt. Well. You choose. The rich use debt to get rich, and the poor middle class get wiped out because they're in debt. That's because of the lack of financial education. Number one type of, there's three types of income. Okay, number one type of income is earned income. It's when you work for money. It's earned. So that earned income shows up here. So these are the guys that pay tax. So when all the guys are screaming tax are rich, well, you can't tax them because they don't have jobs. And then the second type of income is portfolio income. And portfolio income is from flipping houses where you buy a stock for like $10, you sell it for $20. That's portfolio income, okay? I don't do that. Trump doesn't do that. So most guys who are flipping houses and all that, buying stocks and flipping them to, to, you're getting this type of income. So this, this income is about 20% today. But the income that the rich work for, passive income. Passive income is also known as cash flow. That's the name of our game, cash flow. And that income is income that's flowing from here to here it bypasses taxes. School systems teach us nothing about money. Nothing. It's pathetic. You know, they have financial literacy courses today. Well, that's not financial education. You know, it's really pathetic. And what's happening for most people today is, you know, they follow that age-old mantra, go to school, get a job. Well, jobs are disappearing. Not only that, is that with artificial intelligence and G5 coming, more jobs are going to be wiped out, plus with driverless cars, more jobs are getting wiped out. So why would you go to school to get a job? And then work hard for money but pay, and pay taxes. Taxes are going to keep going up, sports fans. They have to. Somebody's going to pay off this massive mountain of debt stacking up all over the world. And the only way they pay off debt is via taxes. And then they tell you to get out of debt. Oh, God. Debt is money. And they tell you to invest for the long term in a well-diversified portfolio of stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and ETFs. The key word in there is invest for the long term. Why would you invest for the long term when they're printing trillions of dollars and zerp? zero interest rate policy, they're paying you nothing for your money. For mo not, not everybody, you know, most people should have job security because they're not designed to be entrepreneurs. But if you're going to be an entrepreneur, then you better take this job and say, well, which way am I going to go? You know, when you look at a job, you look at what can I learn more than how much can I make? And I think that's the biggest challenge. And if you, you look for a job where you can learn a lot, the harder the job, the better it is. Every job is not so much for the high-paying job with job security. Most millennials, they want the high-paying job. They want to be able to pay the rent, eat, and all this stuff. 
and then you dream of the big house and nice car and all that. But that's why 99% of Americans are broke because their heads are in the wrong spot. So when I asked Kim if she would take an accounting course, it was just two days, you know, I wanted to see if her head could get into the asset column. Just like everybody else, I was focused on the income column, get a job, get the pay raises. So I was always focused here. And then finally, this is after we'd actually bought some investment properties, the, the light finally went on and I'm like, instead of focusing on acquiring income, what if we focus on just acquiring assets? And that's, and that's our game called cash flow. So real quickly, this is a cash flow quadrant, you know. You have A stands for employee, S stands for self-employed or small business, or a specialist like a doctor or a lawyer. B stands for big business, 500 employees or more. And I stands for insider investor. See, these guys are passive investors, they're outsiders. These guys invest from the inside. So the eyes are like Shark Tank guys, like Mark Cuban and all that. They're, they're entrepreneurs who now acquire other companies. So I only had uh, one hope was to go to the B side and the I side. You know, I own many, many businesses and I invest from the inside. So what my rich dad taught me is says, if you're not on the inside, you're on the outside. And the reason most people don't make much money is on the outside. Thanks so much for spending your time here. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. As always, we'll catch up with you in the next one.